Welcome back to the channel, all you Deegan penny stock investors. Guys, the two penny stocks that we're gonna be covering in today's video are the Deegan of the Deegan penny stocks. These are all of the above, meme stocks, Reddit pump stocks, short squeeze stocks, you name it, all the above. These are absolutely the most high risk, high reward stocks in the entire stock market. And actually one of the stocks we're gonna be talking about in today's video is the most shorted stock in the entire stock market at this moment. So I definitely wanna bring that stock to your attention. Now, the first stock we're gonna be talking about is of course Mullen Automotive guys we saw a big short report come out just today about Mullen trying to tear this stock down and it is not working so let me see that Mullen army down in the comments below let me see Mullen to four dollars let me see the fire emojis cars whatever it may be let me see if the army for Mullen is still there they are trying to bring us down but I don't think they can do it but anyways guys I think you're really gonna like what I have for you in today's video I have some great opportunities for some truly pure Deegan penny stocks. Remember, high risk, high reward in today's video, so make sure and stay tuned. Now, real quick, guys, before we get into the video, if you have not already, make sure and come join us in the Discord where we trade options every single day of the week. We go live trading options at 9 a.m. every single morning, then we move on to runners at 10 a.m. We have algorithms to protect you guys on the downside, and we're absolutely making a bank for our community over there. There is only a few spots left, so I better see you over there. That link will be in the description below, and let's get right in. Into it. Now, like I said, guys, the first stock we're going to be talking about is Mullen Automotive, ticker symbol M-U-L-N. As we can see, this stock is down about 2% today. Now, before we get into this short report and the effect that it is having on the stock and why it is so significant because of who wrote it, I do want to go over some quick TA real quick. So as far as the technical levels for Mullen goes, there's really not much more to say. We know that we have been eyeing up this $3.62-ish level for quite a while right now and that truly does still stand, right? We also know $3 is becoming a psychological resistance level as well that we must watch out for, right? So look for $3. We ran up to $3 over the last couple of days and unfortunately, we're not able to break it. Once we break $3, then we look to break that important level of $3.62. If we can cleanly break a daily open and close above $3.62, I'm pretty bullish for Mullen stock and I think that we can head back up to four in $5 per share really before we see the next sort of resistance level now obviously that is going to take some buying pressure from us retail investors so we'll see if we can ultimately make that happen but moving on here what happened recently with Mullen stock literally as I was recording this video is a short report was issued by Hindenburg research right so as we can see Mullen automotive yet another fast talking EV hustle is direct line there from them as you can see published on April 6 today 2022 now I'm not going to read this entire thing for you guys ultimately it gets pretty boring but what I want you guys to do is head over to my Twitter make sure and read it all yourself but let let me show you real quick why this is so important so why it is so important is that Hindenburg research has a short position in Mullen stock as you guys can see here from moon market make sure you know their incentive to writing their report in the first place these companies don't go out of their way to write this for fun they have a short position in Mullen stock so they came out with this short report obviously to hopefully bring the price of the stock down and as you can see I wrote here on Twitter. Mullen investors, does this scare you that the short seller is writing a short report? We didn't think they would write a positive report with a $10 price target, right? Obviously, that would not help their case. I said, I think not. They wrote this to bring the price down. Newsflash, it isn't working as Mullen really isn't seeing too much downside after this short report was issued, down about 3% on the day, but ultimately, that doesn't mean a whole lot in the long run, right? We see the entire market really trending down pretty hard right now. So to me, the short report didn't have much effect but you guys can head over to my twitter read this short report in depth and everything that they said about mullen and all these different things i mean they go on and on and on but ultimately you really have to take a look at the source and why the source is ultimately writing it right all these big companies especially research companies like them they have positions in companies right and most of the time their research is going to supplement their positions no matter what right maybe they do think that mullen is starting to work its way out of some of the bad stuff that they brought up years and years ago right and now they are finally on the right track. While they've had this short position in Mullen, they can't possibly start writing articles that Mullen is turning itself around and really starting to do well now, right? They're already down on their short position a lot, I am sure, as we saw Mullen had a big run over the last few weeks and last couple of months here. So now they're trying to ultimately bring Mullen down once again. Hey, I can't say that for sure, right? All this is allegedly, supposedly, you name it, all of the words above. But I think it is pretty obvious and pretty clear that we're not going to see a positive report come from a company 
company that is already shorting the stock, right? So take note of who is writing the article and ultimately why they're writing the article. The best types of articles are unbiased opinions, right? Which ultimately are pretty hard to find in this market. But regardless, that is what's happening from Mullen there. Like I said, head over to my Twitter and you guys can check that out right there to kind of read more in depth. But ultimately, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Is Mullen stock a total electric vehicle hustle or is there actually some footing behind this stock and what it can possibly do long term? To me, I think there is two big opportunities here with Mullen stock. One is the short squeeze potential. And I must note here right away that if you guys have been in this stock and following the channel since way back below $1 per share, taking profits along the way like I cannot recommend, but I was preaching on the channel that taking profits along the way is going to be extremely important, then most, if not all your shares should be riding completely free right now, right? That means you have took out your initial investment, at least possibly a lot of profit as well along the way as we rode this up 100, 200, 300%, right? And now a lot of your shares are riding for free. So that's ultimately what should be happening right now. So if you are still in this stock, a lot of them should be riding for free, right? But either way, one, we have the short squeeze potential. No doubt Mullen stock is a short squeeze potential here. If we keep going in the direction we are going in, if the community stays strong, right? No doubt. But also they do have some long-term potential here. Now there is a lot of downside to Mullen stock in the long term, right? I mean, they're not, they're not going to come out with their actual EV vehicle until 2025. A lot of downtime in between there. They have had a rough past, rough financials. I mean, you could go on and on and on, right? But you could also argue that every company starts out like that. So something to consider, but regardless, there is tons of catalysts coming up here that could help Mullen in the long term, but also each new press release is going to help Mullen in the short term here, as well as the short squeeze potential. So we know that they're expected to deliver their cargo vans coming up here in Q2 2022. We also know that high performance versions of the Mullen 5 are coming late summer 2022, but they are coming. We also know that they have 124 patents in 24 countries. They have a completed a successful, extensive consumer EV market studies, a string, a string of key partnerships, right? That Mullen ultimately has, as well as great results on solid state batteries. Now, in addition to all of this, more recently, we can see that Mullen Automotive is on the move. As the CEO says, a major, major, two majors there, important to note. Fortune 500 company is coming in Q2. Also, cash position exceeding $65 million, which is up from like $400, literally, which was reported last, right? So great news there. And then just mo even more recently, only a few days ago, one day ago, actually, we see that Mullen Automotive is in the fast lane after former Tesla executive is promoted now to a pretty big position in Mullen and he has grown many successful companies was on the board I believe or one of Tesla's lead directors there as they were just getting started uh produced lots of launches for GM in some of their biggest vehicles right and now we see him on the team for Mullen so all great stuff here coming up with Mullen stock that ultimately each one of these catalysts is going to continue to lead to more power for Mullen here in the short term now there's lots of Fed news coming up there's lots of stuff going on in the overall economy that could ultimately kill the short squeeze at least for the short term so keep that all in mind as well, which is why I preach, 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 preach to ultimately take profits. Take profits, at least get your initial investment out of there, pull some of your profits and let the rest ride, right? That is the ultimate goal. That way you have no emotions really attached because your shares are completely free. That is the ultimate goal. And a lot of you should have been able to do that with Mullen. But anyways, moving on here, let's get into the next ticker symbol, which is ticker symbol GFAI. Now, GFAI has been a stock that we've been talking about in the Discord quite a bit. Many of you guys have been in a GFAI since it was under $1 per share. Rode this stock all the way up. Now, the only reason I am bringing it on the channel right now is because something very, very big happened. That is because they announced a offering, $10 million registered direct offering, which is why their stock immediately fell off the cliff today, right? Now, what I want to note as well is that a lot of times after these direct offerings, there is opportunities to catch a quick bounce, at least up to normal, which could be around $1.60, $1.70 for GFAI, right? But I think there's a couple things going on with GFAI right now. That is that they have a lot of potential as a very undervalued penny stock, which we're going to go over. In addition to, yes, this is the stock that is the most shorted stock in the entire stock market right now. So once again, just like Mullen, two big potential advantages here with ticker symbol GFAI. And we're going to talk about that. So one, they got the direct offering here, which they could catch a bounce from that. But we also see that this stock has a 74% price target from analysts upwards up at $2 per share right? The price target is $2 per share in the next 12 months for GFAI. Important to note, this is coming from a four-star Wall Street analyst that literally should be a five-star success rate, 75% and an average return of 41%. So he's been right.
fight six out of eight times and has returned an average of 41 percent every time which is huge so could he be right on ticker symbol gfai high possibility right take a look at their track record that is important to note as well now one thing that makes me bullish on gfai right away is the industry so if you don't know already they are a global integrated security solution provider that is focused on developing robotic solutions and information security services that complement its well-established secured logistics business right which has been around for more than 40 years which is absolutely massive now this is in the cybersecurity industry right which we know is going to be extremely hot already is extremely hot here coming up and we know penny stocks are making big moves within the cybersecurity industry just because of what is going on in the overall world like with russia and ukraine as we can see here lots of articles coming out on a ticker symbol gfai as well but what i really want to note here is their revenue we're going to compare their revenue to their current market cap and this is where i really get bullish on gfai stock so as we can see they are expected to announce here 33 to 35 million dollars in net revenue for 2021 now this does represent a decrease from 2020 however as you can see still 33 to 35 million dollars in 2021 they did a little bit more last year in 2020 which means 30 to 40 million dollars they're already doing in revenue right now if we jump back and take a look at their market cap this is where we can see this stock could be significantly undervalued here as they only have a market cap of 34 million dollars so they're essentially one to one for their price to sales ratio which is a huge deal and it means the company is honestly undervalued now it isn't good that they're declining in revenue so you also have to take some of that stuff into consideration as well but we also can see that they're expecting revenue of 55 to 60 million dollars representing a growth of more than 66 percent in 2022 which is great as well so the revenue is going to continue to go up that means that price to sales ratio is going to continue to get lower and lower and lower and if this company doesn't go up in value if their market cap doesn't increase then this stock is going to continue to be significantly more and more and more undervalued right especially considering the industry that they are in so keep that in mind i do like this stock for the long term and now understand that in the short term here it is going to be completely controlled by meme stock investors right doesn't matter if you like this company for the long term in the short term here it is going to be controlled by reddit and meme stock investors because retail ultimately has this stock by the neck right so keep that in mind but like i mentioned multiple great articles coming out about gfai how they are expanding and all these different things which we're going to look at here in a minute they're also popping up on cybersecurity penny stocks watch list right we can see number two here ticker symbol gfai on some of the best penny stocks to buy within the cybersecurity industry which is great as well but ultimately in the short term here gfai is still the number one most shorted stock according to fintel this has not changed since last week strong company as well right so number one short squeeze stock potentially right it has the highest short interest if you will and also to complement that it is also a pretty strong company as well as we can see multiple articles coming out on making this company stronger and stronger right they're expanding they're acquiring companies right i mean you can just see the roadmap here once again the roadmap here on the robotics as a service industry we can see 21 to 2022 20, revenues increasing there by 66 percent that is pretty big as well robotic deployments expanding into uh dubai and australia i mean so many good things coming out here about gfai which is only making this company stronger fundamentally while still having this significant short interest making it a significant short squeeze opportunity right and we can see that over here with fintel as they have almost a 40 percent short interest as a percentage of flow so no doubt the gfai presents a fantastic opportunity here for a short squeeze potential and i think presents even better opportunity now that they're taking a massive hit due to this offering right my outlook on this stock would be to ultimately wait for a bounce wait for this offering to be complete wait for it to hit its bottom and ultimately get in you can either get in for a quick run after to these normal levels pull profit take the whole thing whatever you want but there's two other significant potentials as well that is one the potential for a short squeeze due to its high short interest and really fundamentally sound company for the most part right which could cause a short squeeze to happen and two for the long term here that gfai could re represent a significantly undervalued penny stock the warning one they do offerings which is always going to make the stock drop two their financials aren't the greatest thing i've ever seen in the world and three even if you do like this company for the long term in the short and immediate future here it is going to be controlled by meme stock reddit investors and retail investors right there's really no way around it this is never going to be a stable stock at least not for a long time until retail investors would exit out of it right so understand that high risk high reward lots and lots of volatility and that goes for mullen and ticker symbol gfai
AI. So anyways, guys, let me know in the comments what you think about Mullen and also ticker symbol GFAI. Which one do you think presents a better opportunity for the short term and the long term? I'm curious to see all of your opinions. And as always, I will get back to everyone. But make sure you guys are in the Discord. Come join us. That link will be in the description below. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel. As always, guys, I will see you in the next video.